What's up guys, MacroTerry here. Thank you for joining me for my Let's Play of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. This is a game that I've been looking forward to for quite a long time. Uh, Mountain Blade Warband is one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, back in the day, my good friend Calvin he introduced me to the series, and it's also his favorite game. So maybe it is his favorite game, Mountain Blade Warband. And uh, he just showed me just all the gameplay of it, and I just fell in love after that, you know? I skipped forward a couple years, still playing a lot of Warband, and I just love the elements of RTS, the elements of strategy, and, you know, controlling your own dude in this medieval warfare, medieval life kind of thing, and it's amazing. And, you know, as a huge fan of the Elder Scrolls series, especially Oblivion, specifically Oblivion, it kind of hits that same vein of this, like, uh, amazing medieval fantasy RPG RTS kind of thing. So, when I heard Bandalord was coming out, and actually coming out this time, I was like so psyched. So, you know, it's an early access right now, uh, but, you know, been looking forward to it for quite a while. My friend's been looking forward for it quite a while as well, and uh, I'm just super excited to play it. Um, game really reminds me of uh, this Flash game, Feudalism, uh, where it's the same thing except like it's a Flash game version of it. Well, Feudalism's based off of Mountain Blade, but... Anyway, enough of that. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking, shut up, and let's jump right into the campaign and get into the world of Mountain Blade 2, Bannerlord. Let's go. Love the artwork, by the way. Yeah, I just um, played a little bit of the Captain's Mode in Mountain Blade 2. It's my first time playing the campaign, but saw a little bit of gameplay. Really looking forward to this. All right, culture. Oh, this is really cool. So, um, nice thing about this game in comparison to Warband, uh, looks like it actually uh, choose your character's culture. Well, in the previous one, you could choose where you want to start off, but it looks like this one is your actual character's background. All right, so the Vlandians. I, I don't, and also, uh, just a precursor, uh, just uh, for preface, I, I don't know anything about any of these factions, really. I just played the captain's mode in multiplayer, so this is totally new to me. Uh, the Vlandians, that looks really cool. Sturgians. I think the Sturgians are kind of like the, uh, uh, kind of like the Nordic guys. The Vlandians, love that how the castle looks there uh, empire i believe this is the colorado empire the one they keep talking about in warband uh, asari that looks cool the kuzites batanians if i pr pronounce these right now just based off of the people who i played in the multiplayer i think i'm gonna go with the azari they, they seem really cool i love the uh azari guards you know the archers the mamluks so i think we're gonna go here all right oh it actually has a description that'd be nice Let's actually look through all of them. All right, the Vlandians. The Vlandians are descendants of adventurers from the West who lived under a empire, under the empire for centuries before forming an independent kingdom. With the decline of imperial authority, they have evolved into a well-organized feudal society led by a cast of warlike nobles who prefer to fight with spears and lances on horseback. Cool. 20% more upgrade XP to troops from battles. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, the Sturgians. Cool. You had Northern Coradia, expanded to cold forests. Chieftains became the princes, vying for preeminence with the help of Nord mercenaries. 20% less speed penalty for snow. That's pretty cool. That's actually sometime, something I haven't seen before. It's got like uh, environmental factors. Let's see. That's cool. Upgrade XP. I like that a lot. Empire. Yep. Coradian Empire in decline. That's, that's awesome. Uh, technologically more advanced than their neighbors. You know, engineers. Oh, wow. Town projects. That's cool. I like that. Uh, okay. So the Azurai. Uh, nomadic. Nomads. Oasis farmers. Cool. I like that. I like the caravans. I'm not really sure what that means. I assume it's some sort of, uh, you know, big pre uh, component in the entire game. But not really sure what that means as of right now. A lot of trading, I guess. I like that 10% less trade penalty. I feel like it's a pretty big deal. Kuzites, nice horsemen. That's a big thing. Speed bonus, huge, huge thing. When you're either running away from huge war bands or you're running away from the <laughs> bandits and things like that, big thing. Okay, nomadic life, I like that. Uh, cool, forests. I'm not sure if this goes to the actual in-game combat or if this is like on the map. I, I assume this is in-game combat, I, I guess. I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're going to go with the uh, Azurai. I kind of like the fact that you get that trade penalty. 10% um, less trade penalty, rather. 
Um, and I, I just like those kind of factions. So we're going to go over that. Uh, I did not expect a man to be in his underwear and these depends, these medieval depends, but that's fine. All right. Uh, wow, this is actually a pretty uh, advanced looking character customization. Um, what well, this game's graphics are, you know, leagues ahead of the original. Um, Mountain Blade Warband had its own charm, but this one, you know, this is a 20, 2019 game right here. It looks pretty damn good, especially for the fact that there are a lot of uh, people like on screen. You know, you got hundreds, you know, hundreds of people on screen at once. Um, you know. That's pretty awesome. I don't want to get too crazy with the customization, but <laughs> I guess we'll just go go into this. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. I, let's try to make it a uh, oh, wow. First off, let's just look at all this stuff. Mouth, nose. Um, what's this chin? Head. What is this? Okay, tattoos. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, well, let's start with like the. The voice pitch. Can we hear it? Former ring. Get that well. <laughs> That's cool. Former shield wall. Victory is ours. Attack at them. Two ladders. Ladders up. I kind of like voice too. What do you all think? Um, and then since we're playing as Yazirai, this dude is a uh, probably darker or something like that. You know. This looks more like gray <laughs> than it does like actual skin tone. And okay, all right. Well, let's go with uh. Uh, hmm. let's go with that. I think looks okay. I think that's or let's go with this one. All right, now let's go to the voice pitch. I think we'll just keep it kind of in the meet in the middle. Close with them. Yeah, I like that. Uh, height. Make this dude alpha as hell. <laughs> make him like eight feet tall. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're gonna make this dude just make him average height. I think that's that's cool with me. Um, skin type. Uh, let's go with kind of like that stubble. That's kind of cool. You know that five o'clock shadow looking thing. Looks like he just got done. Uh, you know drinking drinking coffee. He's ready to go home from a long day at AT and T. Um, okay, so face, face width, make it kind of medium, uh, depth, let's see, cool. Um, honestly, the thing that's kind of bothering me is nose, maybe push his nose in a little bit here. Um, let's see where we got bridge, kind of shorten that bridge up a little bit. And then nostril height, that looks, looks good, I guess. Uh, definition, <laughs> you know. I've always loved these customizations because they, they really like, I don't know, it's just so much detail into just like each each dude. What I usually like doing is I usually just make all the uh, measurements like in the middle. And then that, that usually like creates like a pretty like basic looking dude. You know, it, usually the regular dude is, is good enough. Um, in Oblivion, one of my favorite things to do is just make these like abominations. <laughs> and there's actually this like whole Reddit page just dedicated to making Oblivion Abominations. Uh, I'll put the link in, in the description, but that shit is hilarious. Um, okay, I think I think that looks cool. Um, you know, I'm not like changing uh, leaps and bounds here or anything like that, but uh, teeth. Wow, that is kind of creepy, actually. I did not expect him to have those set of chompers. <laughs> what the heck? Like huge buck teeth. Please do not smile at me, my guy. <laughs> that guy has some fucked up teeth. I know it's the medieval times, but not not looking for looking forward to that um okay i just gave him like huge freaking teeth i don't know how i feel about that lip thickness that looks that looks fine um uh, i'm probably gonna stop messing with them too much or else i'm just gonna you know turn them crazy looking that does not fit that look um okay nah his hairstyles are interesting uh right you know Let's go with, um, <laughs> uh, let's go with a longer hairstyle. No, let's, let's change this up a little bit. So, you know what? Screw it. Let's just, let's just go with that, like, middle, middle, uh, middle of the road customization I said. I'm not sure if this will work. It might, like, deform this guy, but I don't care. We're just going to go with that. 
I'm not sure how that's gonna change it up. Did I just change his eye color? What the heck? Where did it go? Oh yeah, I did. Weird. Let's go with uh, green. Looks kind of cool. Um, right. Mouth, middle of the road. You know, just kind of average this thing out. I don't even know if this is working. Like I said, and if this is. Can find he looks he looks totally normal. Honestly, he doesn't look much change from the original dude. Kind of like that hairstyle. Looks interesting. And then we're gonna go with uh fuck it. We give him a beard. That beard is interesting. Kind of looks like my friend Jacob. <laughs> we saved it, so uh, actually that's more like Jacob. <laughs> this man has a uh, looking like a Confederate army general or something. Uh, also, the beard doesn't really match his skin, or not his skin, his, his hair color on top, but that looks cool. You know what? That, that looks cool. Can we do that one except like a little less crazy? No. Not like we'll be looking at our guy that much anyway, but... Okay, let's let's go with hmm. Let's go with this. I, I like that. I, I think that that vibes that vibes with the character pretty well. This is pretty good too. Oh, uh, you know, what? no, we'll, we'll go back to this. Yeah, I like how that looks. What is this? Change clothing. Okay, cool. Nice. Now that, that's a warrior right there. Looks like he's wearing a tablecloth. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. All right, well, got our character done. Choose my family. You were born into a family of, uh, oh wow, this is actually interesting. Okay, cool, cool. Um, Oasis Farmers. A lot of things to pick from here. Um, well, I don't really know what I want to be good at, you know. I, well, actually, that's that's not totally true. I do want to be really good at, at archery. Uh, so let's look for something archery related, I guess. Scouting and bow. I like this one. That's cool. Cool. All right. 10 plus skill and one focus point to scouting and bow, one attribute to cunning. I don't even know what that is. Your family was part of a nomadic clan crisscrossing their wastes between wadi beds and wells to feed their er herds of goats and camels on the scraggly scrubs of the Nahasa. All right. We're going to go with this family. Mom and dad looking pretty tight. Love that lion pelt on, on my pops. All right. Choose my early shot. Wow. Okay. This is cool. So Early childhood, leadership skills, nice, I like that. That's probably a big big deal, brawn, okay. Attention to detail, aptitude for numbers, play with people. Um, cool, I like that. Uh, I'm gonna go with leadership skills. I think that's always really important. So I'm gonna go with that, cool. Adolescence, <laughs> let's see. Again, I feel like I wanted to focus on, um, you know, going bow. You know, I, I don't. I usually don't like to uh, spread myself too thin. You know, I'm usually like a jack of all trades guy, but in this playthrough, I'd like to try to do one where I, uh, you know, really focus on on the bow. I'd say. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay, youth. Um, yep, I think I'm just going to go with the garrison as well. I kind of like that. Engineering, that's cool. 
to mess with that. Young adulthood. Um, let's see what else we got. Parents didn't give you much money, but they did leave you with enough for you to purchase unused uh, land at the end of the village. Kind of cool. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of cool things. I like, you know, each of these explanations as well. Hmm. I'm going to go with uh, this one. Invested some money in land. Because I feel like the trading and smithing, intelligence, calculating, renown, that's kind of cool. I like that. All right. Choose your story background. Like many families in Colradia, your life was upended by war. So this does play, take place in Colradia. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your mother father, brother, and your two younger siblings to a new town you've heard was safer, but you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain, damn, and your two youngest siblings seized, but you and your brother survived because, uh, you know, boom, the arrows. We gotta, we gotta focus on those, those arrows. Arrows will block the sun. Uh, <laughs> set the few arrows the raiders away. They took cover, giving you the opportunity to flee with your brother. I like that. Okay, review. You prepare to set off with your brother on a mission of vengeance and rescue. Here is your character. Click finish if you are ready or go back to make these changes. Enter your name. So, I always go with uh, the classic, Torben Stregos. That's what I always use. I don't know why, but I think it sounds cool. Uh, there's this dude in Oblivion. His name is Torben. He's like this uh, athletics dude. Like he trains you, or acrobatics, he's, he's the master trainer in acrobatics. He trains you in, in that. <laughs> so I use Torpin, I think it just sounds cool. And then Stravos, uh, I don't know, just sounds cool. Cool, so culture, family, you know, a lot of concentration with the bow, concentration with intelligence and leadership. So I think it's going to be a pretty good run through. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Game difficulty. I guess let's just keep it, like, at a... Uh, I guess what it is, two extra recruitment difficulty. This looks pretty easy. We're gonna go with um, ooh, realistic. Hmm. Friendly parties receive damage. Friendly troops receive damage. Yeah, I mean these games are notoriously pretty hard. They just take a long time. Um, you know, so we're gonna just go with like just the easy mode for now. Uh, enable death in battle, that is crazy. Uh, auto, oh this is like, I guess if your heroes could die. Uh, do not want that. Auto allocate clan members perks. Don't want that either. So, you know, I don't wanna be a noob, but <laughs> let's, let's just go very easy on this. You know, normally when I play a new game, uh, I usually play, uh, you know, the normal difficulty or, or the hard difficulty, but the last time I did that regarding hard difficulty, I was playing Witcher 3. Never played The Witcher before. Big mistake, you know, made the game way harder. I had still, like, no idea how to play the game and stuff like that. You know, you can't heal without eating food or something. Uh, you know, you can't just, like, rest. It's really tough. Um, yeah, so we're just going to play this on the default settings, which is, I guess, easy. Oh, excuse me. Which is, I guess, easy. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but we're going to just jump right into this, I guess. Cool. All right, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord after this long intro. All okay. <laughs> Brother, it's been three days now. We've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Fathid and... Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll be up for a fight. Oh, hell yeah, we're up for a fight. We're gonna go bowman to their face. Let's go. Looks like old training field with legions. I hear someone grunting in the background. Just humping a horse. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. Okay. Uh, yeah. Continue the tutorial. 
Oh, let's attack them. Tracks are fresh. They can't move too quickly to salute in your rating. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so I guess it kind of starts just how Warband starts. Let's do the combat tutorial. All right. Oh, yeah. Here we go, baby. Yeah. God, man. Game was really beautiful. Uh, looks like there's three areas here. <laughs> this, is so, this is so cool. Pick this up. Oh yeah, let's do this shit. Can I like talk to this dude? Oh, attack from the left. Oh. Oh yeah, here we go. It's also, a, okay, so one thing, this game is way easier um, <laughs> in third person. Like, way easier in third person. Okay, uh, okay, choose us a weapon. Okay. Huh, that's strange. Go to the train. Didn't we do this already? <laughs> okay, wait. We already did this part. Oh shit, I will start. Here we go, baby. Deep rookie trainer, okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got his ass. Also, I guess with the spirit, keep my distance, you know? Let's go first person, see how this looks. Yeah, so first person's way harder than um, third person in this game. I, the main thing is that when you're in third person, you could like do, I don't know, stuff like that, basically, you know? Uh, the game is a lot more lenient to like when you look around. In first person, you have to be very like accurate and stuff like that to like where you're clicking and pointing and stuff, so. Where did he go? Did I just kill him? <laughs> what happened? I didn't see him like, walk away. Oh, this guy's murking my ass. Oh, there he is. <laughs> well, this guy's easier because he doesn't have a shield. Like, he just... There we go. Smacked him in the face. Oh, snap! Two of them? Here we go. I like how it says, uh, oh. <laughs> I thought it's a practice target on them for a second. Or maybe it did. I don't know. Alright, cool. That's great. Uh, let's actually get out of here. I think we know kind of how to play already. Uh, you know, we know how to do crossbow bow and all that good stuff. So let's just talk to our brother again. Let's go. He's going to stare at this dude's face. Okay. Uh, great. So, man, I love the artwork in this. It's so beautiful. Cool. Um, wow, this is our first look at the map. It's huge. My god. I know this is called Radia. Um, so it takes place in the same world as the original, original game. Okay, uh, leave. Cool. Before we do anything else, we'll learn food. There's a village north of here where you can buy provisions and find some help. You're a better than a rider than I am, so I'll let you lead the way. Okay. Welcome to Horadia. You can move... Explore the world by using Wasid. Ah oh, man, so amazing. Let's go to Tivia, I guess. Um, yeah, no, this is really, really cool. There's a, uh, I think this is what like Warchag used to be, and all that good stuff, you know? Like uh, Praven, the name's a little different, you know? Uh, this is where the Rodox were, and it looks like there's like a south part here. Really, really fucking awesome. Um, this is so cool. Colradia, you know, all this other expanse in this area. Beautiful. 
map is looking really, really cool. Uh, great. Let's do this thing, I guess. Let's go to, ooh, let's go to Tibia or however. What's that? I don't know. Starving. Oh boy. Okay, refugees. Oh, uh, that's a good guy. Great. All right, let's walk around. This is so cool. Okay. I actually like how in this game, when you're talking to someone and like, <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't just like make a box around their head if you played Warband before. It's just like an actual dialogue. Hey, love that sound effect, classic. Speak with the headman. Usually it's this dude here, the one who just sit around. Dismount. Cool. Is this a guy? Oh no, oh that's a girl, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Empire peasant. Man, yeah. even though she's kind of old, she, I feel like in her prime she's kind of bad though. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see here. Where is the Emperor peasant? Oh, all left. Aha! Headman Sanian. Oops. Let's get our horse. Yeah, graphics, and the game runs really smoothly, you know, I'm playing on a laptop, Asus, 1060, uh, GTX 1060 graphic card, so not anything crazy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, where are you? Ah! Hello, sir. Ooh, notable notary. Okay, I guess I just can't talk to anyone. <laughs> this guy kind of looks like Anthony Kiedis from Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'm Sanian, headman of this village. What brings you here? Alright, cool. Let's do this. Damn. Okay, we think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who will join you in going after them if you pay them for their gear. If you'll pay for their gear. Once I made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I may have a task for you if you're going after the raiders. Great, let's do this. All right, tab key. Oh, oh, that's if you leave. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so in this menu, uh, yeah, you could buy supplies, a lot of good stuff. Yeah, let's definitely buy some food. Two sacks of grain. You know, I, I always didn't really understand that because, like, what? I'm eating the grain, like, straight up. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. You could even, like, look at the item. Beautiful. Okay. Well, let's, um... Uh, Buy the sex sex of grain. I don't know how to do that. There's quest. Um. Okay, I guess uh, do that. Just be three of those. Uh, done. Nice. I'm gonna go recruit. Headman's troop. Okay. Four dudes. Nice. Nice. Cool. You could jump straight to the headman. I like that. Glad you see you found what you needed. Now about that matter I mentioned earlier. This is wandering doctor who comes to you from time to time. Name of Tactios. Treats people for free. We're fond of them. Well. We last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said, though would it tell us more. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders come through here. Well, he's not really a worldly type. I like how this dude is coming. That dude looked exactly like him. Just the kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let him be captured. We're worried about him. If you keep... <laughs> They use that sound effect so much, you know? I mean, it's great. It's like classic as hell, but it's just... Anyway, this Tactios, we'd be very grateful. Maybe if he's alive and well, he'll tell you a little bit more about his quest. Great. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. Leaving the village of Tevia. Tevia, I don't know how to say it. 
Who's this Ammon of Tavia? I'm not really sure. Let's see these raiders here. Uh, well, let's look at this really quick. Okay, look around the village to find the party that captured the traveler who the Hadman Tarot told you about. That's good. Uh, these are the ones that we completed. Okay, and then here's our character. I just want to check out, I know we have to go into the game. Okay. Focus points. Not really sure what this is, but. First name, Captain. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Beautiful. I think, um. Nice. Ah, okay. I see. The focus points, like the learning limit. Okay, cool. Great. Um, well, we don't have any skills to use. Let's just keep focusing on that for now, because uh, apply those changes. Great. This is what a dude looks like. Got a bow. It's a party. We got four of the headman's troops. Love how the <laughs> pirates clipping through his cap. Also looking kind of old. Looks like more like the headman's advisor than the troop, but fuck it, I don't care. Here's my, my boy, my bro, Najin. Quests, yep, let's do that real quick. Uh, what are these? Clan screen, kingdom. Don't know that thing, those things yet, but uh, there's some bandits in there. Let's just go in here, walk around. Yeah, it's just, it's crazy, because, you know, I'm thinking about, like, uh, you know, back in the medieval times, you know, have a group of uh, bad dudes. You know, nowadays, they're just going to be pushed around by the cops. You know, they're causing some trouble in the streets, but back then, you have this huge group of bandits, you know, a bunch of rough riders or something like that, and, like, they could just start raising villages, you know? There was no sort of law and order, I guess, so that's kind of kind of fucked up to think about. I don't know if I could, uh, oh, uh, I guess I should talk to him. Yeah, so it's just kind of crazy uh, take the things for granted nowadays. Uh, things in our, I guess, <laughs> Whatever, lifestyle, whatever. I don't want to talk to you. Good. This dude looks on, like he's on perk. All right. Okay, I thought, oh, wait. Can I not, okay. Well, we are doing that one quest, right? Let me double check. Let's see. the actual uh, journal or whatever. Hmm, okay. View, character, camera toggle. Does this actually work in game? Like this cheer? <laughs> I am not entirely sure. Hmm. So, let's see, encyclopedia, banner, character, party, quests, maybe J, that's probably what it is. Aha, okay, cool. Um, what does Q do? I'm probably gonna make, I'm gonna bind that to, to Q. Hopefully there's nothing that Q does. There's probably something really important that Q does. Uh, I'm gonna bind that to Q. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I see. All right. Well, looks like we're going to have to just go around the village itself on the, on the big map. Take out those bandits. I see. All right, let's fuck these guys up. <laughs> this is sweet. This is our first time in combat here in Bandalord. Got that horse. Uh, now, I know from the original... Or, you know, playing captain's mode. Got the cavalry to position. I think you could do everyone listen to you. And then movement. Let's, uh... Let's put them here. Archers! No. Get moving! Let's do that. 
And then I'm just gonna start smacking. Oh, well, it did not, uh. Oh boy, this guy's gonna get ganged up on. This guy's gonna take an arrow to the face. <laughs> Alright. You know, nice thing about this game, arrows just feel so much snappier, you know. Really nice. I'm probably gonna move like molasses through the river here. Uh, but our guys are charging in, taking out these bandits one by one, I'm sure. Boom. You guys have no question fighting us. That'd suck. Just slowly succumbing to uh, bow injury. Be a shitty way to die. That guy's dead. And that guy that was almost dead. Oh, arrows fly pretty quick in this game. Boom! And there goes that last guy, I think. Oh, there's one more guy. He's gonna get murked. Oh! Looks <laughs> like his head's gone. Won that shit. Easy day, baby. Awesome. Mark those bitches. Hey! Very nice. Let's get those prisoners. Get store 13 of them. Very nice. Cool. And uh, we're gonna take all of this loot. Maybe this is even better than the stuff we're wearing. Let's see. Uh, armor tier 1. It's lighter. It has uh, better body armor, so... Unequip. Let's put that on. Oh, I don't want them to do that. Yeah, put that bad boy on. Cool. Looks good to me. Let's go after these guys in the forest. <laughs> They're like running away. I think the default Give is charge, hell. but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, these guys are so dead. A lot of damage. Boom. Out their ass. Yeah, like I said, you know, usually I'm more of a uh, archery guy, so I'm gonna whip, or unmount. Start murking these guys. Dead. He, he's gone. Boom. Alright, bitch is wasted. Hopefully we could find uh, where those guys are keeping our, our boy. Easy day. 46 seconds. Just imagine your whole prisoner group just being murked and, you know, 46 seconds, it's over. Take all your shit. Nice. Uh, I think there's one more, one more bandit. Oh boy, they're gonna like run into the other guys here. Oh wow, here comes some caravans. And we are in the forest. Looks like it's getting dark. Oh, that's awesome. Love that. On my plan! Yeah, horse archery is uh, my player, not my player's strong suit, it seems like. Oh boy. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, you're dead. Oh shit, I'm fucked. Damn, I'm gonna fuck my horse up like that? Alright. Oh boy. This is not looking good already. Alright boys, I need some help. I'm gonna get owned by this one, like, random guy. There we go. <laughs> Almost died right there. Not a good start, but fuck it, we can do it. Okay, nine prisoners. Uh, 
Aha, okay. Cool. Tactios, I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. My name is Tactios. I'm a doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest, but now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing. We were, I was with a caravan and they just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed without any water, and I was just about ready to drop. I could feel the signs of heat stroke creeping up and I told them, but they just flogged me more. If your group hadn't come along, maybe I have a way to thank you properly. We're looking for two children captured by the raiders. Can you tell us anything? I'm afraid I haven't seen any children, but after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they call Radagos, took off, took and rode off with more of our valuable belongings, including a chest that I had. He seemed to be controlling more than one band raiding around this area. If this lot has your kin, then I think he'd be the one to know. And since I have nothing of value left to repay your help, I'll tell you this. If you, catch, if you do catch up with him uh, and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value if you knew where to sell it. Okay, it looks like we're going to hang on to that for a while. I'm trying to find more about it, but as I'd say... I've had all my urge for traveling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. Keep that in mind. Thank you. Doesn't look like much, and I suspect this law will give it away for a few coin, but I got it from a mercenary whom I treated once and swore it was related to, um, don't know how to pronounce that, Nazareth's folly? I don't know. I don't know what that means except that Nerets, Nerets, I don't know, <laughs> was of course the emperor who died in battle some years back. Maybe you could find out its true value. That would be really cool. Thank you for saving me again. I hope our paths will cross again. All right, dude. I bet this guy might become like a hero, maybe, you know? Ooh. All right, well, I think our dude is like kind of injured, so we're gonna go back to here. Sell some of the stuff. Ah, that's cool, okay. It's armor-like, okay. Not as good. Oh. Cool. Oh. Wait, I'm confused. No, that's all I wanted. <laughs> okay. There we go. Alright. Let's go and leave. Gonna go to the hideout. Whoa, that was a crazy zoom. Jesus! Oh, this is the hideout. This like mound of shit, and it's like dark, like, turning to nighttime. Not really sure if this is like the move, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay. Well. Yeah, looks like it's the same kind of thing. Like in, uh... Okay. Well, looks like we have a stealthy approach. Maybe this is a good thing that we attacked at night. Can I, like, sneak? Moving in. <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah, I love the graphics in this game. Beautiful. I don't see any guys over there. Keep moving. Keep moving our guys up. I'll just tell them to follow me. I see another dude. It's not that dark over here. Cross the river. Love this music too. <laughs> ah, this guy's like sitting down. This guy's so dead. 
Oh shit. Totally missed that. Oh wow. That actually hurt. Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, nice. Good kill. These are really cool. Just like the details on like random items in this game. Love this. Cool. Gain a skill point and bow. Now 49. I love when, um, in the previous game in Mountain Blade Warband, when you're like at a siege, you're like, alright, you start seeing Cyan, <laughs> that's a good thing, or whatever, whatever color it is. Like in the kill feed. Oh yeah, now we're killing them. So in this game, I guess it's just like, purple. We're seeing purple. This guy has no idea. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Been marked it to from far away. Oh, he dead. Damn. Hit him in the neck too. Running out of arrows pretty quick, I could imagine. And uh, let me pick him up though. No? Okay. That guy got fucking murked. A little tennis court here. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There we go. He did. Oh. Yo, what is this? Oh shit, is this gonna be like a duel? Whoa, <laughs> this is where I can like see my eyeballs. So, who's that thing come that comes through my place of business, killing my employees? We heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven, I need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens, oh god, little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them south to a slave market, I know though. Oh, this fucker. All right, since you hunt your, for your kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Either that, or I force you to lick up all the blood you spilled here with your tongues, or you and I can sell this. I'm a dual slaver's men attack. Let's fuck this dude up. Oh shit. All right. Okay, I'm going, going the sword. Hey, we knocked him out too, so... What is this? I don't know what that is. Alright, fuck yeah, we did it. Holy didn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, mark those bitches. Okay, cool. Radagos. Okay, fuck this dude. You haven't cut my throat yet, which is a wise move. Alright. Okay. Okay, looks good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... Put, uh, prisoner... Is he a prisoner? Oh, here it is. The folly, yeah. Okay, um, the strange middle piece though. That's the one that Tactios is talking about. I feel like we should like hang on to that. They keep like talking about this necklace or whatever. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully it doesn't make it like a strepo strepos or something like that. Little gallus. That sounds cool too. Ah, oh, this is dope. We are the men of men of the birds, men of the crow.
Man, there are a lot of cool items, cool symbols to choose. I don't know that you could choose a banner like this quick in the game mode, but oh, that's a really cool one. I like that a lot. Um, definitely want like some sort of like avian type thing. That looks kind of like Aztec looking. It's interesting. <laughs> Again, looking like a colonel, full bird. Dragon's always awesome. You know, I kind of like this one. I know it seems a little rudimentary, a little simple, but it's kind of why I like it. You know? Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna go with, uh... Oh, he's a sigil color. Um, yeah, I like that. I think that's cool. Sigil color is gonna be, uh... Oh, the green's kind of cool, too. I don't know. Well, they all look nice. Um, you know, I kind of like how the blue looks. I think it looks pretty, pretty nice. Very royal. Royal. Uh, go with the blue and orange look. What do y'all think? Green. You know, normally I don't go for like too flashy of colors. I just go like something subtle, you know, like black or something like that. But kind of like how the blue looks. I like that a lot. Yeah, I think we can go with that. Oh, it's kind of hard to choose. Ah, oh, the red's cool too. <laughs> um, let's go with the blue. Fuck it. I like how he turned blue now. <laughs> That's dope. Tutorial's over. Let's do this shit. Okay. I don't know what what. Strange. Okay. Well, I guess we finished the tutorial. I think that's a good stopping point for now. Um, thank you guys for all the people watching. Uh, this has been a really cool game so far. I don't know why I only have one dude, one troop. That's kind of strange. I thought I had at least like my my brother or whatever, but that's weird. Uh, either way, that's, that's fine, I guess. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all tuning in to watch my Let's Play of Bannerlord. This is a game that I've been wanting to play for quite a long time. So, so far, first impressions, really, really dope. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take care, and I hope you guys have a good day. See you later.